Hello and welcome back to The Frame Channel. From securing objects to underground exploration, humans have developed a range of sophisticated technologies to create holes of various shapes and sizes in all kinds of places. In this feature, we'll explore the evolution and application of several drilling techniques applied in various industries over the last 100 years. One of the most modern drill methods is flow, or friction, drilling. This process uses specifically designed conical-shaped drill bits, which generate heat through rapid rotation. When one of these hot drill bits comes into contact with another material, its high temperature causes the outer layer to melt and a hole begins to form. Pressure is then applied until the drill bit penetrates the targeted surface. Unlike traditional drilling methods, no debris, or swarf, falls from the hole. Instead, this technique pushes the melted material down below the facade, increasing the thickness and strength of the area. Friction drilling is especially advantageous when the walls of the material being drilled are thin, because it not only creates strength, but also adds depth, making it easier to apply a thread. Of course, not all drilling jobs require the same finish, which is why the conical drill bit design has been refined and adapted over the years to achieve specific outcomes across a range of applications. Standard bits create holes with raised collars around their top edges, whereas flat style bits create flush holes without bands. Friction and pressure have always been key ingredients in drilling techniques. As far back as the Stone Age, humans harnessed these forces by using bow drills to create fires as well as make holes. For fires, a blunt, smooth spindle was placed onto wood and rapidly rotated using a bow to set it spinning. The combination of forces caused an indentation to form beneath the drill, which would become hot and eventually ignite. This remained the conventional method of drilling for many years. For example, the ancient Egyptians are known to have used bow drills to create holes in beads for jewelry. Today's drilling methods tend to employ twisted metal drill bits, which can be attached to either handheld or upright machines. First, the operator must select a drill bit that is appropriately sized and capable of piercing the material in question. Next, this bit needs to be inserted and fixed into a chuck, which is attached to the device's spindle. The chuck's job is to keep the drill bit securely in place during rotation. The user then activates the power, causing the drill to spin and makes contact with the material's surface. Pressure is then applied, either manually through an inbuilt hammer function or via a push-down lever. This combination of friction and pressure forces the rotating drill bit through the material thus creating a perfectly round hole. When you think of a diamond, the words sparkling and expensive probably come to mind. You may also be aware that these precious gemstones are also extremely strong, heat resistant and durable. In fact, you could say diamonds are a driller's best friend. Diamond tip drills are used within the construction, mining, and oil drilling industries. Where specialist bits have to pass through incredibly hard surfaces such as concrete, brickwork, marble, and even rock. These high quality tools often feature hollow designs, allowing water to pass through their centers for cooling purposes. 
Thanks to their strength and durability, diamond tip drill bits can make short work of the toughest surfaces. For large scale earth moving projects, such as the creation of cross country rail links, tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, are often the most effective solution. These giant machines feature huge drill like rotating cutter heads which make use of friction and pressure to chip away at earth and rock in order to burrow vast subterranean tunnels. The excavated materials are removed at the rear of the borers and deposited outside the tunnels, often in the form of a slurry mixture. Some tunnel borers can even erect concrete segments as they move, providing support for the tunnel as it develops. Due to their gargantuan size, these incredible contraptions are operated by large crews. Let's take a look inside a working TBM now. Two of the most recent evolution from this industry include thermal spallation or jet flame drilling and plasma drilling. Surprisingly, neither method uses a traditional drill bit. Both procedures are best suited to drilling through hard rock surfaces and have proven to be more efficient than conventional approaches. Thermal spallation, as the name suggests, uses heat to get the job done. An intensely hot flame is blasted at the rock, causing it to fragment. This powerful technology is frequently used in mining applications and for the creation of blast holes in stone quarrying. On the other hand, instead of flames, plasma drills fire high voltage impulses at a rock's surfaces breaking it apart at the drill's tip. Onlookers witness a flashing bluish light as the unit gets to work. This method is ideal for oil well drilling and although still in its infancy, has proven to be both cost-effective and time-saving. But what does all this mean for the future of the industrial drilling equipment business? The global drilling machine's market size, which was valued at over $16.5 billion in 2021, is expected to grow at a CAGR of 7.1% to reach a colossal $27.8 billion by 2027. Drilling techniques have truly come a long way in the past century, and we're sure to see more innovations in the years to come. That's the end of this feature on the frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time.